When I was a freshman in high school, I discovered this amazing feature on Apple products called AirDrop. And just in case you don't know what AirDrop is, it's this wacky little thing that lets you send any photo you want to anybody in your immediate vicinity completely unsolicited. It pretty much puts them in this matrix top scenario, but instead of choosing between the red pill and the blue pill, they gotta choose between accept or decline. And the way I would use this, I would pretty much exploit it. I would spam airdrop people, memes on the school bus when we were on like a field trip or something, and just absolutely aggravate people. But they didn't know it was me, because I could change my name on my iPhone, and I would change it to stuff like Barack Obama, so it would pop up on their phone and say, Barack Obama would like to send you an airdrop, except or decline. And then it would have a little preview window of the meme I was trying to send them. And oh man, that would set people off. That was that was the way that I would entertain myself. But the only reason I bring that up in the first place is because today we're looking at a little video of a man named Larry when he's on an airplane and decides he's going to send everybody a little airdrop surprise. Big emphasis on the word little. Meet Larry who just airdropped a whole flight photos of his peepee. -pee. Thankfully, I accepted it, saw who was sending it, and immediately started speaking up. Stay tuned for the police escort. I don't know if you caught the conversation between those two because it was kind of quiet, but allow me to reiterate it for you. The flight attendant says, Sir, why are you airdropping pictures of your penis to people? That's pretty inappropriate, don't you think? And then Larry says, Oh, well, you know, just having a bit of fun. <laughs> That's a pretty twisted way to have some fun, don't you think? When I think of having a bit of fun, I think of taking a stroll down the beach or grabbing an ice cream cone or maybe petting my dogs. I don't exactly jump to sexually harassing people on airdrop or, heck, that may even be pedophilia if there are kids on that plane playing Flappy Bird and then boom, Larry's iPad would like to send you a picture of Larry's penis. It's sexual harassment. It is mainly disgusting. It is assault. So that's the end of the video, and the lady is 100% correct. That is definitely sexual harassment. Multiple cases of it, too, because he airdropped it to everyone who had an Apple product on that plane. And I would say, with the way he's acting and the way he intentionally sent it to everybody, He's probably got a humiliation fetish, a humiliation kink, or whatever you want to call it. You know, he gets off on people embarrassing him. And this right here is pure boner fuel for a guy like that. Oh boy. And just in case you wanted to know exactly what the picture was that Larry airdropped to everybody, in a different TikTok, the lady said it was a picture of him receiving a blowy with his little millimeter Peter poking out from the bottom. And I know, I'm just as shocked as you are. You should have seen my face. It looked like I had a ghost face mask on. I couldn't believe it. And I even saw in the comments of this TikTok post, people saying, well, why would you accept airdrops from strangers anyways? Why would you send pictures of your PP to strangers over airdrop anyways? Like, that's such a stupid argument. Obviously, if someone sends something like that, it's not your fault if you accept it. Like, you're gonna be curious. Curiosity gets the best of you most of the time with airdrops. But it's his fault. It's like you're trying to blame the person who received the penis picture and not the person who sent the penis picture. Like, <laughs> what? Leave it to TikTok to have the most brain-dead individuals in the entire world in a comment section. Always just trying to have a different opinion from others so they can seem cool and stick out from everybody else. So they can have a hot take. And she did make an update video which has somewhat of a happy ending. They said that an FBI agent met with a few people on the plane and told them that Larry was arrested and he will be spending the weekend in airport jail. And she does also confirm that there was a child who was sent the photo but they didn't approve the airdrop and obviously their dad was ready to fight Larry which, you know, I don't condone violence most of the time but Larry definitely needs some sense not knocked into him but beat into him. Because I would go out on a limb and say if he's comfortable sending stuff like that with a child present, he's probably comfortable with a whole lot more than what he sent. You know, I'm talking physical actions, which is horrible to think about. Larry is a downright despicable man, and I hope nobody in the world is like Larry. But, you know, with seven-some-billion-odd people on this floating space rock, 
there are going to be a couple Larrys out there, but, you know, when they do inevitably get sent to jail, they typically get made good use of, so <laughs> it works out sometimes. But for them to go to jail, it does take them doing some heinous deeds to, you know, well, children, and that's, uh, that's not good. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the story. She hasn't posted any updates since then, but if you do want to keep up with this and see if Larry goes to prison and gets what he deserves, drops the soap or whatever, uh, Daddy Strange 333 is the TikTok account. You can go keep up with it there. But this has got to be the most bonkers scenario I've ever seen on a plane before. It makes all those anti-mask freakouts and stuff look like Weenie Hut Juniors. Larry just... Larry does not set a good example for humanity. Just don't be like Larry, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.